Good morning, guardians. The hijabi gave her here, and it's Friday. I cannot believe it is already Friday. Boy, does the time fly when you are having fun. We are extremely busy. And as you can see, it's original destiny time because Friday means Zer is in the tower. This is the original destiny's tower, destiny one. I do really miss this tower. It's great. Yes, this is my favorite tower, especially when they finally opened that garden beyond. That was awesome. Anyway, original destiny. Zer's in the tower. He's got some good stuff. No trespasser. I mean, that's by default. If trespasser is not one of his choices, his options, then you know, it's going to be at least a slightly better week. But there's actually a gun I haven't seen he's carrying for a while. Um, I was surprised to see it. In addition, the usual reminder, this is original destiny, which means he's in the tower for a shorter period of time. Original destiny, in case you've forgotten, Zer is only in the tower for about 48 hours. So he arrives, at least for me, Eastern Standard Time, he arrives on Friday at 5 a.m. And he is gone by Sunday at 5 a.m. Not reset. That's Destiny 2. Destiny 2, he's gone by reset. And the reset in Destiny 2 is later in the day. Original Destiny, even the reset on Tuesday is very early in the morning. Um, yeah, I know my camera is not set up because I still haven't put on my scarf for the day. So, yeah, I'm being lazy today. Anyway... As I said, he's got a decent selection this week. We are heading straight um, back towards the Vanguard. Yeah, I miss this tower. I like this. Like you're heading to see the that. I, I can't. I can't. I'm. I can't. Anyway, heading over here because I have work too. So here he is, Sir Agent of the Nine. There's the Vanguard. Hi, Vanguard. Right over here. Um, right. So, what has he got this week? So first off, as you can see, no trespasser. Which, as I said, is a good sign. No trespasser. I am being unfair to trespasser. I'm being told he's actually a lot better in Destiny 2. Trespasser. But I haven't given it a try yet. I've been messing around with other stuff. Um... Primarily Skyburner's Annex, so I haven't even finished the campaign yet. Anyway, that aside, let's focus on the better destiny. So we've got the usual Legacy Edgram. As I've said before, I feel like this is way overpriced. 29 strange coins. Unless you've got an excessive amount of strange coins, you're talking about you're probably going to get a year, year one item. You might be lucky, but you're only going to get a year one item. You don't even know what you're going to get, so... 29 strange coins seems a bit hefty, especially when you take into account how many heavy ammo you can get for that same amount. Okay. Anyway, next, for the Titan, you have the glass house. Excuse me. Interesting. Um, the glass house. Blessing of light and weapons of light lasts longer. Those are those wells, I guess, for the Titan. Um... Yeah, I'm not a big Titan person. Honestly, I primarily, when I did play Titan, played um, Flaming Hammers of Flaming Awesomeness. Because Flaming Hammers of Flaming Awesomeness. You're talking to someone whose favorite Warframe is Ember. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light is a thing. I just don't know exactly what it is, because... It has nothing to do with flaming hammers of flaming awesomeness. Let me know down in the comments below, Titans. Have I, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, Titans. I'm sure it's pretty awesome. It's just not flaming hammers of flaming awesomeness. The glass house. I will say this also. It does match my criteria. As you know, I have said that if a helmet is bulkier than the corpus helmet, it is a no-no. The helm, the corpus helmet is the border of bulkiness. If you go over that, you are going too bulky. Yeah. Uh, they call it also the refrigerator. The joke, the corpus helmet. Um, I don't think it's as uncomfortable as... I mean, if it were, I don't think it would be that popular. Everyone wears it. But that's my criteria. I just hope this thing isn't made. I mean, there's no way it's made of glass. It looks pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Titan helmet. Next for the hunter, you have the knucklehead radar. Uh, radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. 
Yeah, I think this is primarily used for um, the crucible. Other than that, I mean, there are very few cases. You know, chaff is the modifier that gets rid of radar as well. It's not really that bad. As modifiers go, there are so many far worse than chaff. And while this is probably good for crucible, I could definitely see it being helpful in crucible. Um, I don't see it being a big problem in PvE. Like, there are so many better exotics I would rather use over the knucklehead radar. And I think I'm too close to the microphone. But, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, you can only use one exotic. So, you need to peek very carefully. And there are so many better ones than knucklehead radar. So, I could see it being used in Crucible. Like, at one point, I was like, why the hell would anybody need this? Now, I could see it being used in Crucible. But outside of Crucible, there's so many better options for you that, um... I, like I said, I don't, you can see I don't even have it with me. Wait, no, I do. Wow. I haven't even unlocked my knucklehead radar. That is how useful I have found it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's the one I use the most. Celestial Nighthawk. Celestial Nighthawk, Frosties, and the Bones of Ao. Those are the three I primarily use the most. Um... In Destiny 2, it's the Radon Flux S piece, which really increase, increases your Arc Strider abilities. But, I mean, like I said, I can see it being useful in Crucible. Um, other than that, it also passes my Corpus Helmet test. It is less bulky than the Corpus Helmet, so good on it. Not that bad. Doesn't look really wonky either. So it's okay. I mean, as I've said, I've said always pick up everything because first off, it gives you Grimoire score. And second, it lock, unlocks the blueprint. So even if you dismantle it, you will be able to reclaim it. So you may not be a hunter main right now, but a year from now, suddenly you might see the light and become a hunter. It would be great to have those exotics, just in case. Like, I tried to pick up all of the Titan and Warlock ones because maybe um, I'll get knocked on the head and forget the awesomeness of the hunter and wake up one morning and decide to go titan or something yeah anyway for the warlock we have the nothing manacles a kind of sad name looks pretty cool though don't get me wrong enable scatter grenade tracking gain an additional scatter grenade charge i'm guessing that's like tracking grenades warlocks educate me this one right warm grenade guessing that's what it is uh let me know warlocks you like this I don't know, it feels kind of meh. As I've said, I I used a uh, Warlock primarily for self res. That's about it. I hate the jumping for the Warlock, I hate the jumping for the Titan, and if you ever watched me play Original Destiny or Destiny 2, yeah, it makes total sense why I would be a very lousy Titan or Warlock. The way I play, there's a lot of jumping involved. So, um, yeah, anyway. Let me know, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the coloring. I'd rather have darker colors, but okay. Next we have Plan C, which is a fusion rifle. Um, have it, of course. I haven't using it very often. I think I would choose the Telesta over this. It is an arc one. The uh, bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Uh, Plan C, charge and equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. Huh. Maybe I should mess around with it a little. You know, if the charge and we so you would switch between that and like your primary. Okay. Maybe I will try it out. It looks fallen. Good fighters have contingency plans. Great fighters don't need them. Okay. Let me know. Comments down below. Plan C. I don't really remember anyone really talking about plan C. No. Next, we have some. We have the Hawk Moon again. Um, as I've said, I'm not a big fan of Hawk Moon. I've already gone over it. I'm more of a Ace of Spades person myself. I like the fact that the Ace of Spades is for hunters, and I like the guaranteed perk of precision kill means automatically one bullet is moved from your reserves, your magazine. To me, this is chance. 
as I've said, you have luck in the chamber, which means one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. And then you have two more random bullets in your magazine deal more deal considerable bonus damage. That means three bullets will do that. You have a magazine of 13. Now to make the math easier, I drop it to 12. That means one in four bullets will do uh, considerable more damage. You have a 25% chance of getting that random bullet. I would rather have a guaranteed perk than a 25% chance one. It's not horrible, 25%, but if I'm going to have to pick one exotic, I'm going to go with the Ace of Spades of the Hawk Moon. I know a lot of people like Hawk Moon. People have said it's great in Crucible, but honestly, again, you have a 25% chance that that target that you're aiming at will get that bonus bullet. Otherwise, they'll turn around and shoot you back. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. What was the mod what was the ornament you get with Hawk Moon? You're getting Hawk Moon and Moon Glow. On the other hand, you're getting the nice ornament. So, the ornament I have going right now, that is Moon Glow. And that is the ornament you will be getting when you buy this. As I've said, even if it's if it's not your thing, I as I've said, pick up every everything you can. Um unlocks Grimoire and unlocks the blueprint. So, go for it. And I mean, you can see mine is fully unlocked, so I have used it. I just prefer Ace of Spades. Anyway, next we have one I have not seen in a while. No Land Beyond, which is the sniper rifle that works in your primary slot. And as you can see, I haven't even really used it that much. You're getting... Oh, you're probably getting Undiscovered Country. There's only one ornament. But yeah, an Undiscovered Country. So it's a... Sniper rifle in your primary slot um, has a decent impact. I'm not a big fan of the high rate of fire, low impact sniper rifles. I'm more of a, I mean, I to take away the whole point, but that could just be me. Uh, this is the ornament called Undiscovered Country. I mean, one of the great perks too, this is simply the fact that it is a sniper rifle that you can use in your primary slot, which Paired with the knucklehead radar would be interesting because then your radar would not go. Anyway, you've got, see here, this exotic sniper rifle can be equipped in the primary weapon slot. I guess when you were originally playing Destiny, this is a big deal. Now that Destiny 2 has sniper rifles, yeah. Mulligan missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. Yeah. And increased precision damage. Kills briefly, increased damage against the next target. Let me know. I mean, as you can see, mine is not even unlocked. I don't know. I never really used it. I'll admit, I use snipe. I use scout rifles as sniper rifles per se, because they're high high impact weapons. Um, you know, you can get more ammo. And I'm getting booted. Anyway, as I've said, Zer is in the tower. Thank you for watching. Um, he has the same usual other items, but uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Anything you plan on picking up, anything you don't have, anything you want to see. As I said, I want to see Zalo Supercell in Destiny 2, but it's highly unlikely. Because they have Risk Runner, which to me is a cheap copy of Zalo Supercell. I want Zalo Supercell. Nice. Have a good one.